in my opinion, Denver should have beat Seattle on Monday Night Football. Uh, they were moving the ball a ton. They got stopped three different times on the goal line. Three separate times. They, uh, And that's, by the way, it's worth noting, shout out to Seattle's defense. Seattle played great in the red zone. Denver had two fumbles on the goal line. One was on fourth and goal. That's kind of a guy extending for the, the touchdown. I don't know if that counts, but the next drive on third and goal, that was a fumble. No points on that drive. Um, they got stopped again later on third and goal. I was very surprised that Denver lost this game. I thought they were more talented. I thought they had a better quarterback. It was very much not the start of the Russell Wilson era that I was expecting out of Denver. I, I really, I was like, man, they traded for this great quarterback. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Russ had two interceptions that should have been dropped. One by Quandra Diggs in the end zone. Probably the easiest interception he'll ever have in his life that he dropped. It was right in his hands. Uh, Jamal Adams dropped one as well. It was ugly. And I walked away wondering, what if Denver adds Russell Wilson to their team and somehow still finds a way to finish last in their division? That's a real possibility. Kansas City looks amazing. They were incredible week one. Uh, LA looks really good. I think the Raiders have a, they were a playoff team last year that got better this year. So the margins are incredibly small in that division, the AFC West. I mean, a good team is going to not make the playoffs in that division. It's really competitive. And, and clearly, Denver is still figuring things out. Late in the game, they monumentally mishandled the clock. It was fourth and five. They're down one point, 16 to 17. The clock was running. And they had a first-time head coach with... And a coach and a quarterback combo that had not ever been in that situation together late in the game, managing the clock. They had three timeouts and still somehow let 40 seconds run off the clock. And people will say, well, they were planning to kick the field goal. Were they really planning to kick the field goal the entire time? I don't think they were. They let 40 seconds run off the clock. Uh, Ultimately, they decided to kick a 64-yard field goal instead of going for it on fourth and five. Which, by the way, is a terrible look. You you just paid Russell Wilson $245 million. Yet, um, <laughs> on fourth and five, you trusted your kicker more than Russ. Fourth and five from 64 yards. By the way, uh, only one 64-yard field goal has ever been made in NFL history. Matt Prater, 2013. In Denver, by the way, where you're at higher elevation and the ball goes farther. And this kick, 64 yards, would have tied the second longest kick in NFL history. The longest kick was last year, uh, Justin Tuck. Justin Tucker, excuse me, Justin Tucker, the kicker uh, for Baltimore. So there's a 66-yard field goal once in NFL history and a 64-yard field goal in NFL history. You're telling me, in Seattle, (laughs) at sea level, by the way, you are going to try to kick the second longest field goal of all time on fourth and five rather than go for it on fourth and five with your potential future Hall of Fame quarterback. It was a bad look. It was terrible. Clearly, based on that, based on some of the stuff we saw, based on their problem problems in the red zone, Denver has a lot of stuff to clean up and fix. They, they're working on stuff. And other teams in that division, the AFC West, are not trying to figure stuff like that out. Kansas City is rolling. LA has continuity. They look good. The Raiders got a new coach, but a lot of stuff is the same from last year. And they got a good team. Denver's working on figuring a lot of stuff out. And Denver's going to be better week 13 than they are now. They're going to gel. They're going to figure it out. I can forgive, by the way, the clock mismanagement. It's a teaching moment. First time coach, quarterback that never worked together. I, I actually have patience for that moment. But what I'm saying is, A good Denver team is probably going to miss the playoffs this year because they're just behind all the other teams in their division. And and I really think there's a good chance, even with adding an incredible quarterback, Russell Wilson, I think Denver is in danger. uh, And in fact, not only in danger, but more than likely going to finish last in their division again this year. 